Hello everybody and welcome back to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to the USA. We are back here again and this is episode number three of the series. Um, now I know we were here yesterday but City Hall have asked us to come and do something quite interesting so I thought I'd uh, strap my GoPro on and oh hello love, what are you doing? Looked a bit weird. Um, yeah I thought I'd strap in, I'll strap on the GoPro and uh, show you guys what we're doing today. So if I go out and explain. In mom's diner. Exactly love, exactly. Um, so we've got these bad boys on rental. These are not ours. These are they've been rented in But it's been paid for by City Hall that we put it onto our wages basically So these are some Western Star Unaware of the uh, the model number unfortunately, but they're Western Stars. I know that much you see at the front here Western Star um, And these are drop act. You're just gonna walk through the middle. Yeah, you're just gonna walk through the middle of the truck fantastic So these are drop axle steerable trailers uh, trucks. Sorry not trailers um, we need to go up into the mountains today, not that one. Uh, over there somewhere roughly, if I zoom in. So we gotta go all the way to the top of the mountain. It's gonna be a bit of a bit of a weird drive, bit of a struggle, but um yeah, basically there is a community up there. And what we're gonna do real quick is a bit unrealistically, we're going to collect this and put it onto the back of here, just so it doesn't fall off. It's not gonna cause an issue, don't worry. And um, we're taking the red one today, and our friend uh, Dan is gonna be taking the green one, and we'll take the red one. So I think the green one looks better, actually. It's got black wheels. But there we go. So yeah, as I was saying, I'll just quickly get this uh, started up here. Okay, so we'll jump into ours real quick. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'll explain on the way up. Just to get my head tracking on, we'll give it a reset. It's quite nice in here. I think you'll agree. It's a nice little truck. So maybe one day we can afford our... Oh, our skid still over there. Just realised. So wait for this guy to walk th probably through the middle of the cab. Ready? We're about to see him pop up. Hello. See you later. So yeah, uh, we're heading up to the mountain range now, and we are going to... Oh gosh. So yeah, as I was saying, um, there is a community that was up in the mountains, but unfortunately the government slash council, whatever you want to call them, no longer want anybody up there. So everybody's moved, except for three people. Um, two of them are allowed to stay up there because there's some sort of weird loophole going on where... Is the green truck coming? Yes, he is. Um, yeah, there's some sort of weird loophole going on where they're allowed to stay up there somehow. I'm um, not exactly sure the details, but all I know is the last person up there called himself the king of the hill. And uh, apparently his place is way too big to put down by himself on his truck. So um, he's agreed to move out peacefully if uh, the government slash council uh, pay to get it down and help him, basically. So we've got these two trucks. Now, the reason we have two, we could easily do it with one, is because, as I said a second ago, we're going up a huge mountain. Um, so we need to make sure that the... The, the trailer that we're picking up doesn't push us down the hill. So by using two trucks, we should have twice the amount of horsepower, twice the amount of braking power, and it should be good. So we're going to indicate now up into the mountain range. I roughly know where we're going. Going up is not going to be an issue. Uh, we do have an escort meeting us when we get back to the bottom. So the escort truck is going to take us into town. Um, just because the, the load we're picking up is quite big, basically. So... Yeah, welcome back. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Now, it's something I need to clear up first as well is some people didn't like it. Apparently, I did a double double upload, and that's not necessarily true. Um, the video episode number two of the American stuff that you guys, or some of you guys see, I think I had like a thousand views when I noticed. Um, that wasn't meant to go up. I was meant to click private, and I clicked public instead. So that video was not meant to go live. In fact, I was meant to delete the video and fix it because the wheel cam went a bit weird at the end. So yeah, nobody was meant to see that video, so I didn't double upload. Well, technically I did, but the first video wasn't meant to go out. I didn't just upload the same video twice on purpose, basically. Um, which is why the other version of it has gone. Have I missed my turning? I think I've missed my turning. Or was it here? No, we're not there yet. So we haven't we haven't just moved into town, obviously, so we're not actually sure where we're going properly. I feel like we've definitely missed the junction, though. Maybe not. So yeah, this is our first time properly up in the mountains, so I don't actually know where we are going yet, but hopefully we don't get too lost. I do know that it's straight up and left, which must be this left here, I think. Hopefully. This is a really nice truck. Really, really nice truck. It's a shame we don't have anything like this in Farm Sim. Now, we do have a truck like this in Farm Sim, but I'm getting really confused between this Western Star truck and the... Is it the Kenworth T800, I want to say? Possibly. They look identical to me. Obviously not being from America, you guys probably know that. Oh gosh, this road's getting very, very narrow. This is where we're going to start going slow. Hopefully we're not greeted by uh, some oncoming traffic along here because things will get very, very cushy very quickly. But yeah, getting there's going to be no issue. It's getting down that we're worried about, basically. 
Right, so we're at another junction here, and I'm told by the council that we need to go straight forward, basically, and up around this loop. Now, it gets very, very tight around here, but hopefully we don't get stuck. Right, is green truck still behind us? Yes, he is. Let's hope he's still got the tow bar attached, because it's going to get pretty awkward with us. There we go. Oh, gosh. This is the corner they warned me about. Oh. Now, this truck does is a really, really nice truck. Um, I have had to modify it slightly. Um, most of you guys probably already know about this one. It's on Mod Holster. Um, but I've had to modify it because the, whoever made this truck, they put the actual front attacher node at the front, but they didn't put it, the, the code into the actual uh, XML files. So I had to do that myself. And I'll also show you another change I've made to this truck. Unfortunately, I can't give it out, but I will link you the original one, which is pretty much exactly the same. It's just got a different attacher on the back. Are we in the right place? Yeah, I think we're here. We are at location already. So here is the two tents that I told you about. Told you about. Now there's a couple of loopholes with the government that they've somehow these guys have won. And um, so apparently there was no motorhomes allowed up here anymore. But these guys live in tents. In fact, I'll drive down here and show you in a minute. I'll never turn around. So yeah, these guys here, they have a legal business up here. So they sell fuel to all the truckers and the campers and stuff. And they live in tents, so technically there was some sort of loophole that they could uh, they could use to stay up here. So they sell fuel basically to all the uh, tourists and all the travellers and the off-roaders and the campers and all that good stuff. Come on, buddy. And we are getting rid of the last person here. Like I said, he calls himself the King of the Hill because he had a huge home, and there it is. So we need to try and get this thing down to the bottom of the mountain. So it's going to be a challenge. Now, we have already loaded it up with the signs and stuff. We were up here earlier in the truck just to make sure, you know, you'll get a feel for the job. So what we're going to do real quick is um, we'll have a little team talk with the owner and uh, we'll see what's going on. All right, okay, so we've had a little group chat. We know roughly what's going on now. So we're going to put the green truck in the middle. Now, we're driving the red one still. So uh, whoever's in the middle, I feel a bit sorry for. Actually, I'll quickly, while we're here, I'll show you the modification I've done to this truck. So we basically put on this extra trailer hitch, which doesn't usually come with it. But uh, we've gone ahead and added that so we could do jobs like this, basically. Um, so what we're going to do real quick is get this loaded up. We'll try and do it. The mirrors are useless on this game. They really are. So we'll just do it in third person. Why not? There we go. We'll get the trailer hooked up here. And you see it should go onto the hitch like it has. Awesome. Um, so we are going to be needing these axles here, since we're going downhill, and they are steerable. So what we're going to do is get out, press X to... Oh, we need to select the truck. Lower the axle down, like so, and that should give us some extra support. But before we get... Before we hook up the other truck, sorry, what we're going to do is use this truck to straighten it out. Get our beacon light on here. Like so, and we'll get it roughly onto the path here. So, let's get the hazard lights on. Now what we need to do is, where did I put the uh, the tow hitch pole? Here it is. This green end goes on the truck of the the master car sort of thing. So we'll put it there. We'll get it hooked up. And uh, we'll get our truck lined up as well. So we're not going to worry about the, uh, the axle wheels just yet. We'll do that when we're all hooked up. So yeah, this guy basically has to get evicted from the mountain. I'm not sure how it works legally. Um, I'm not used to all the uh, American laws just yet. But... Um, Government's asked us to do it. Well, the council's asked us to do it. So uh, that's what we're doing. Well, City Hall, I should say, have asked us to do it. So we'll help them out. Um, now, how do we do this? I think it is that button. Yep, there we go. So we're all hooked up now. All we need to do is select the truck. Get the rear axle folded down like so. Beacon light on. And we're pretty much ready to go now. I'm just going to get my hazards on as well. Right, so before we hit the, I'm about to say roll, but before we go down the mountain, I'll just show you what we've got. So we've got our truck here. Uh, so this truck here is going to be pulling this truck here, but this truck's also going to be pushing, which means they shouldn't get stuck with each other sort of thing. But it's also giving us twice as much horsepower, twice as much grip, and uh, twice as much stopping power as well. That's the main reason we're here, so we can stop easier. Um, so they're pushing those two. And then this one's obviously towing uh, the trailer itself. So we've got our flags on here, our flag markers. And as I'll show you at the back here, we've got the uh, the wide load sign. So hopefully all goes well. Hopefully we don't get pushed off the mountain because that would be very, very awkward. So um, let's jump into our truck and uh, we'll see how we get on. Don't really want the lights on, change my mind. Okay, and we are away. So we do have both trucks now pulling. Just got to get up onto this road here. 
And we're away, so slowly but surely we'll reach the bottom here. So if I let go of the accelerator, you can see we're kind of still going because he's pushing us. So it is actually working, which is good. Just going to apply a bit more power there. And I think we're going this way. we basically got to go the way we came because all the other roads have been tested before. And uh, well, I don't think we're going to get this low down. So we need to go the way we came, essentially. Right, so as we come along this treacherous road here with a big drop, um, one thing that uh, the City Hall are worried about is the fact that we've got a huge storm inbound soon. So, well, it's due like a, a few days' time, maybe. So they want to get everyone down as safe as possible before the storm hits, um, because we don't want to be doing all this sort of stuff with a huge storm. Right, is that coming around the corner okay? Looks like we've done it. It's up on its side a little bit, but it should be fine. Maybe we need to go a little bit wider in future. All this cutlery's gone, that's for sure. <laughs> right, this is one of the hills that sucked us up last time. We're basically slammed on our brakes at this point, and we're still rolling. Because the uh, the trailer's really heavy and it's pushing us down the hill. So if I just show you what it looks like outside. We're getting there. Now my foot is fully on the brake right now, and we're still falling down. So, yeah, very, very, very heavy load. Right, so come this way. I'm glad we're not that much higher up into the mountain, to be fair. This mountain does go a lot higher to the fact where there is snow on the ground. So down there is the nice lake that we need to check out at some point. We haven't been down there just yet, but maybe we'll get a day off one day. We can go down there and do some fishing or something. Not sure. But uh, that's the, what's one of the most dangerous hills we've just done there. So now we've just got to do the, uh, the narrow road coming up. Here we go. So I need to remember to go a little bit wider around these corners. Now you may be wondering where this trailer is going. This is one of the most dangerous hills. Look at the drop on this, guys. Jeez! Ooh, we don't want to fall down there. I nearly did, trying to take in a scenic route, but there we go. So uh, yeah, you may be wondering where this uh, trailer is going. We have, well we haven't, the City Hall have come to agreement with a the nearby farm, the farm that's basically attached to the town, and he's allowed to stay on the property for a week. He's got one week to find somewhere else to go. Uh, just until the storm flies over, basically, and then he has to be vac like, vacated again. So maybe, hopefully, we won't be doing that one. Um, but there is a mil there is a trailer park opening up very soon. So we hopefully, if we get the contract, we may be involved with the uh, construction of that. Because that would be a pretty cool thing to have under our belt. That should pay for our building, that's for sure. So taking this one a little bit wide here as we turn the corner. Fun fact, my uh, dad does this in real life. He doesn't do trailers, he does uh, big yachts. But uh, it's usually just one truck and a police escort. But it's quite fun. That's why I know a little bit about these uh, oversized loads. Right, let's go ahead and come out a little bit wide here. Now there may be a jump cut in a minute, because this is the bit where I really want to take a thumbnail. Because I think it would be really cool to get a thumbnail along here, but we'll see how it comes out. Check that mirror there to make sure that the trailer isn't going to go over the edge. Looks like we might be okay here. And we're around the corner. So we just got to get to the other end of this now, basically. Alright, so we just got a picture for the website. That should be uh, good to go now. So one of the most requested things in the last video I should, she should mention is uh, I forgot to change my currency to US dollars. Now it's in US dollars. It was in pounds. Oh, let's go around here. Kick it a bit wide so we can actually make it around the corner. I'll do some in third person here so you guys can see. My foot's on the brake again. My foot is on the brake again. Oh dear. We're coming though, slowly but surely. I'm not sure how they got this trailer up here in the first place, if I'm honest. It must have gone up a lot easier than it comes down. Once again, it's not really that wide of a load, if we're honest. It's just uh, gravity doesn't like it. So maybe it was a little bit easier going up. Now here's the corner I have been worried about. Actually, this isn't the corner. We must have, might have already passed it. So I'm doing some in third person so you guys can actually see. There's no point in me doing a heavy load episode and just staying in cab the whole time. Oh, watch that tree. Look at that. Oh no, we're going to have an issue here. Nope, we're good. And now we need to go all the way down that path there. So this is the probably the sharpest corner. Hopefully it comes out alright. I'm going to stay in cab for this so I can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm going to come a little bit left of here now because we need to start coming around basically 
Take a slow and wide, and we should be fine. Okay. Let's give this one a shot, shall we? Now, it's got quite a lot of axles, so hopefully it just sort of rotates on the spot. I can't really see what I'm doing. Yeah, she's rotating on the spot. Green truck is behind us. And she's through! We did her. And we are going a little bit too fast. We can't stop. This is the steepest hill we've got, probably, apart from the one that was up right at the top, near the top, sort of thing, before the lake junction. So let's take it nice and slow now, basically. We should be fine. So we got the uh, pickup truck meeting us down here as an escort. So uh, we'll get him, or well, we'll meet up with him, and then we'll head in to the farm. Now, getting through the farm is going to be interesting, if I'm honest. We may have to get rid of the... In fact, what we are going to do is get rid of this front truck. And then we'll jump into the green one. Oh, I don't think we're going to need both trucks anymore. Because it's not a heavy load. It's not that heavy. It's just coming down a mountain top. Coming down a mountain face. That's why we had two trucks. So when we get to the uh, the escort vehicle, we'll disconnect one of them. And uh, we'll be away. And then we'll put him into the field where he's got permission to stay for a week. And that should be our job done today. So we'll actually, we could probably get away with lifting up the axles as well. When we get to the bottom. Oh, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Gosh. We'll keep getting pushed at the same time. There we go. Once again, look at my legs. No feet. We're getting pushed by the green truck at this point, so we don't even need to do anything. We just need to steer, basically. Right. I always went... I nearly went up there then, but uh, it's down this way. So where is this truck that's meant to be meeting us? Can't see anything just yet. Is he over this ridge? Over this little crest? There he is! So there's our escort. So we'll start slowing down here. And um, we'll have a little chat with this guy. And we'll continue our little trek down the road. So we haven't got that far to go. It's just a wide load, of course. So we need to have the proper precautions. All right. Let's get that off. Cool. So before we meet up with this guy, we are going to get this disconnected. I think we actually have to do it from in cab. I forgot this because it's the uh, the tow vehicle. Right. There we go. So we got that off. Move this off to the side real quick. Actually, we'll park it about here, I reckon. Did I lift the uh, axle up? I think I did. Is that up or down? Nope. There we go. Lift it up now. Um, can we actually put this into the back of the truck? I'm going to assume it's going to be too big. It looks like it might be too big. We'll try. Uh, it's sticking through. Can we open the hatch on this thing? By the way, this truck has no interior, but it just I thought it would be quite a cool little uh, scenic car. Just to have as like an extra. No, it's not going to work. So what we're going to do instead is clip him. Oh gosh, what am I doing here? Wake up, simulate. So we'll drop this down like that, and he should stay there. There. Locked into place. Cool. Right. So this is going to be the interesting part. We'll get our little uh, convoy set up. Right, okay. So we've got the uh, escort vehicle there. We've got... Well, we've got the red truck disconnected now. And we're going to take over the green. So we've swapped with, uh, we've swapped with the red truck now. We are now in the green. Axles are still down. Good. And uh, we'll do the last leg of this journey with our little escort. Well, what do we... What we're country in here? America. Cool. So we have to drive on the right side of the road. Everybody come in. Looks like we've got a good little system going on here. Make sure the orange trucks come in, because that is a legal thing, I believe. Or at least just a courtesy thing of the town hall. Right. So, I believe the gate is literally just down here, actually. Oh, stop, stop, stop. This thing takes a while to stop. Right, now what we want to do real quick is actually block off the road. So we'll jump into the pickup truck. Once again. What the heck are you two doing back here? That's that's not meant to be a thing. Right, okay, so we've got the truck and the escort vehicle blocking the road right now. Because we've got to come out really wide. Now we're going to get off... Four oh, this truck doesn't have four-wheel drive. I was about to say we'll get a four-wheel drive on, but it looks like it doesn't have it. So yeah, they're blocking the road. And we need to try and do a wide turn into this gate. So I'm going to do it in third person. So you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Hopefully we can get in without scraping. Now we need to probably go in diagonally, I reckon. Like this. So we'll turn, 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 turn. No, no, no. This has gone horribly wrong. I've done it wrong. I've used all the wrong methods here. Right, take two. We nearly 
caught the uh, the trailer on the side of the fence. So we'll try that again. We'll do it in first person so I can actually see it on that side there. There we go. And we are in. Simple. See, it's much easier in, uh, in cab view, sorry. Now there's one last step. We're going to get the uh, hazard lights turned off here because they're annoying me now. We'll swing around so it's facing the other way so when we need to take it out later on, if we need to take it out later on, um, we'll be sorted basically. So I'm not sure where the... Uh, where the council are going to be building the uh, the trailer park. It's not here, because this is a farm. But uh, this is, like I said earlier, this is where they're letting him stay for the night. So we'll get this disconnected. And the load has now been dropped off. So finally, wasn't really a long journey. It was just a bit of a treacherous journey, I reckon, uh, through the mountain ranges. Uh, one thing we do need to do right now is come into here. We'll get the axles lifted up, like so. And we're done. That was our uh, little escort convoy vehicle thing, whatever you want to call that. We've managed to do it, and we're still alive, which is a good sign. So what we can probably do now is start by opening up the roads. We'll get this red truck back off the road here. Like so. Get the hazard lights off this as well. Now, let's move the pickup truck. I really wish this thing had an interior, because this is a really nice truck, like, externally. Really do like this truck, but there's literally no interior at all, look. So I'm only going to be using this for, like, follow me scenic set things, possibly. So I like to use a lot of first person, which obviously we can't do in this truck. Beacon off. Engine off. And we are done. So yeah, that is a uh, little escort. We'll just quickly take a look. She's quite a large load. But um, yeah, like I said, this guy gets to stay here for a week now. And uh, that is our money well earned, I reckon. So we're going to get... About 5k, I think it was, off the council for doing that. Uh, we also, well, we had to pay to rent the trucks as well. So we'll get that back off the council as well. It's a shame we don't have trucks, I guess. But that's a bit far out from uh, how much we're earning for now. We're only a lawn care business at the moment. Right, and we're going to go back to the diner and get ourselves a, uh, a bottle of beer after that, I reckon. So yeah, I was speaking to Dan, the guy who's been helping me with all the equipment and stuff. And what they actually use in America, who does it in real life. And we think that lawn care is probably the wrong name for this series. Because uh, we're more doing like public service stuff, so we're doing a bit of everything, a bit of forestry, a bit of landscaping, so what would you guys call it? And also, here's something I'm going to get you guys involved with, Now I'll do a proper video on it later on. Now the business is finally getting set up in town, we're going to need a name for the company, so put your opinions in the description box below what you reckon we should call it. Now it's going to be nothing to do with Dodgy Declan, nothing to do with Dodgy Declan at all, so um, yeah, call it anything you want. Why is the traffic stopped there? That's weird. Come back into the diner real quick. We'll get ourselves a beer and a hamburger. And uh, I think we'll call that a job well done today. So we'll quickly get him off Follow Me. Cool. We'll take over the green truck one last time. And there we have it. Okay, so there we have it. That is our first haulage type video, if you want to call it done. Um, it's a bit different. Some people may not like it because it's not farming. But uh, it's just something I've wanted to do. I had the idea, so I thought I'd do it. Um... But it's nice that we could get the trucks to talk to each other. Basically, all I did was put the tow there and made this one go and follow me, so it's pushing. But it worked, which is good. Um, so, yeah, we're going to call that an episode here. Let's see. Hello. Welcome in Mom's Diner. Yeah, welcome to you too. So we're going to go ahead and munch on some uh, some burgers and some beers. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please slap the thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Uh, we'll be back to farming tomorrow, so don't worry. I'm not sure what map will be on yet, but it will be farming work. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little bonus video. If you did, please slap the thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome in Mom's Diner.